Hello and welcome to this, uh, I guess, instructional video or data recording video. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at inclined planes, friction, and also how to use this device called the Newton meter, and also how to measure using a protractor. So whenever you have foreign instruments that you don't know about, the first thing you should do is you should check out what the smallest possible reading is. So if I look at this, I know it's a bit dim, but you can tell that the smallest possible reading of the angle is one degree. Okay, this is like any standard protractor that you have. You can pause and check it out. Smallest possible reading is one degree. Okay. Um, the other new equipment would be this uh, Newton meter. Okay. So this Newton meter works like a spring. You can see that there's a spring inside here. Okay, and uh, as we drag the spring, the reading will be at where the uh, line is, this line, this marker. Okay, so when there's no dragging, the marker is at zero. When I apply a force to drag, it will have a certain reading. Okay, so in this question, uh, there's, a, there's a board. This is the board. Okay, and then this is the block. The block already has uh, four 100 gram so together 400 gram slotted mass inside okay and the mass of the block and the tupperware alone is 93 gram all right so that's that so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the first part of the experiment which is to place this setup on the flat board hook this one over i'm just i'm going to try and make sure that you can read the, the value of n now okay so hook this one in and we will now okay n is here we will read the newton part not the gram part okay so we're gonna have to drag this until it begins to move gently pull the newton meter until the block starts to move measure and record f naught all right so this is my f naught okay and uh, this is my newton meter let me bring it closer for you so you can read better i hope Okay, so I'm going to drag now and I will repeat a few times so you can decide which reading you want to take and if you want to take repeated readings and if you need to take repeated readings. Okay, so ready, steady, go. When it begins to move, you can take your reading. Okay. So it's when it just starts to move, uh, so not when it's stationary. Okay, I will put here a bit so the you can see the scale. So when it first starts to move, something here like this. Okay, one last one. When it first starts to move, so the Newton scale is here. First starts to move somewhere like this. Okay, pause and take the reading if you need to. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next part where we will uh, place the incline. Okay, so place the board and the supporting block as shown in figure 2.2. The longer edge should be vertical. All right, so let me show you what I mean. I have this block here. It has two edges. Here to here is the longer edge and here to here is the shorter edge. So right now you want the longer edge to be vertical, so it will stand like this. Okay, so I'm going to raise the board and put it like so. Alright, and now I'm going to change the angle of the camera because we need to measure theta. Okay, now you can see the board, okay, the vertical higher part is here. Okay, let me pull back my camera so you can see. So the vertical higher part is here. And the this part. Okay, this is the vertical and higher plane. Alright, so this is your setup. We're going to need to measure this angle theta. Okay, and what I'll do is uh, I will put the protractor. But if you look at your protractor, there's a slight problem here. Okay, this protractor has this 1 cm width. Mean to say, if I put this way, or if I lay it flat on the table like this, it doesn't really measure your theta. Okay, 
because by right, the flat line should be at zero degrees. What to do, what to do? Well, I would suggest then you place this one here, such that the zero degree is aligned to the table. Ah, then you bring in the inclined plane. All right, so I'll do so. And then I'll also put some paper on the table so you can read better okay all right so i'm gonna put this here i'm gonna pull this forward or rather pull this as forward as i can We're adjusting the camera okay let me change my screen okay so we're back Hopefully this can allow you to see better. So I will place the zero degree here. Or oh, I try my best to align. Okay. And I'm not sure if you can read the reading. Let me make sure I don't push too much. Okay. So take the reading of theta. I'm going to bring the camera closer. You can take the reading of theta now. The angle of the inclined plane. Pause and view the video. Pause the video. Take this reading. Okay, and now we will commence the experiment. I will change the camera angle again. Whoops. Okay, we are back. The block is here. The incline plane is here. As you can see, it's fairly steep. And I am now going to hook this thing in. Okay, and I will begin to drag. So, I will bring the camera closer. Hoping that would somewhat help you see the Newton meter. Okay, so first try. Take the reading when it starts to move. First try. Okay, as it moves at steady speed, you can take the first try. Okay, second try. Focus. Okay, I hope the camera focuses. When it begins to move at steady speed, you can pause and take the reading. Okay, last one. Third try. When it moves at steady speed, Pause and take the reading. So whatever reading you think is correct, you just take lah. How many you want to take also, you know lah. It's the best uh, idea. Okay, so now we're gonna carry on. I think we're gonna repeat the process again for a different side of the block. So we will measure the angle theta as you did just now and then you calculate some value okay and then we pull this one and then we take the reading when the block starts to move okay so now we're going to repeat again but with a shorter vertical edge so now i'm going to flip this thing and pull it down okay shorter vertical edge and now i need some theta and an f so I tell you what, I'll measure F first and then we'll do theta again. Okay? So I don't have to keep changing my camera. Very CN1, you know. Okay, so this is for the shorter vertical edge. The why you know cooperate? Okay. Shorter vertical edge. First try. Okay, take the reading when this one is moving at a steady speed. Okay, second try. Take the reading when this one is moving at a steady speed. Don't forget you can pause the video. 
All right. Third try. Take the reading when it is moving at a steady speed. I know you say when it just starts to move, lah, which is the same as moving at a steady speed. Okay. So now to find the angle. Okay. I also calculate sine theta plus mu cos theta. So we have measured F. Just now the reading was F. Okay. Now to measure theta. I'm going to move the camera. Okay, welcome back. Uh, this is just to confirm to you that it is the short edge. Okay. And now we're going to measure theta. All right. So in order to measure theta, I'm going to again move the block so that it is at the edge. Somewhere here. I'll push it down a bit so you can see. And also align it a bit so that there is no... Uh, I'll try my best to avoid this thing called parallax error. Lah. But this thing sometimes, you know, can't be avoided when you are recording at home. Well, I guess my camera doesn't like that angle, so I guess we'll have to go up a bit. Alright, so anyway, this is the best I can give you right now. Okay, so let's stick our protractor and begin. Okay, so this is the projector. I'm going to place it at a uh, right at the edge of the table, somewhere here. Okay, and then you can now take the reading of this angle, second theta. Okay, so we have measured the force. Now you will measure the angle. Okay. So pause the video if you need to measure the angle and and now the only thing left to do is to complete the theta measurement just now and also the force for the shallower plane. Okay, so everything else is pretty standard. Normally question two, you will take two readings so that you have something to write like in the limitations. Okay, so I think that's it for this inclined plane experiment. Uh, make sure you know how to write the limitations and uncertainty, which is the main focus of this question. This thing has uncertainty. The spring got... You know what to write. Try your best. Okay, and I will see you in the next experiment. Alright, take care now. Bye-bye.